August 10th. I could write about all the talks we had, about the first night we spent together, about looking for an apartment, and then finding it, about moving in, about pretty much anything that only involved the two of us. But I think it's time to move on. This isn't a feel good journal after all. It was a Thursday, coming up to a year since Grace and I start, started dating. I was at the cash register, Grace wasn't in the store. Oh, this woman, huh? An old lady was counting her change, slowly and with trembling hands, when Anna walked in. Oh, damn. Now I feel the tense. Anna didn't buy anything. She went for the register towards me, empty-handed. The sight of her approaching made my heart start beating like mad. My head hurt. Oh, the music gave me creeps. I know the moment I saw her that she meant trouble. Jack? My god, is that you, Jack? She had the nerve to pretend she stumbled upon me by accident, like she hadn't tracked me down. But I didn't have it together. I couldn't see through her acting. I was confused. Panicking, not sure why. Excuse me, miss? Is that you? Silence. Please don't cut in line, miss. It's not fair to the other customers. The old lady was still tackling her mess coins. Mess of mass of coins, I mean. Oh, this music gave me nerves. Uh, sorry. <laughs> she didn't seem to notice much around her. Uh, don't play silly with me, Jack. It's you, isn't it? Yes, my name is Jack, but you got me confused with someone else. There, there's a lot of Jacks around there. Oh, come on, you're you, or like? I put a hand on the counter uh, to steady myself. She reaches, reaches out as if to place her hands on mine. Damn, lady! I jerk my hand back like she was going to bite me. It's me, it's Anna. Don't you remember your old friend? No, we never met. I guess it has been a while. 15 years? Not me, must be someone else. Oh, <laughs> no. Anna started right, start right at me, through me. I thought I either boil or freeze. Sure, it's you. Let's go somewhere and talk about old times. I know a great restaurant, just two streets over. I knew it. It's, it's because Anna. Anna did something so traumatic. Jack becomes a loner. Look, lady. Even if I was this friend of yours, I have a job to do. So let me get on with it. You're bothering the customers. The customers wa weren't bothered one bit. Oh! 
Everyone is a bad actor. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna keep assuming that everyone around me are paid actors by Anna to per uh, to set me up. If they hated anyone, it was probably me. After all, after all, I was being so rude to this pretty, charming girl who only wanted to talk to her friend. That's a good point, Jack. What are you doing in this place? It's a pile of trash. Rude? Minimum wage job is still a job. Someone like you doesn't belong here. I was through trying to reason with her. I crossed my arms and said nothing, hoping she would notice that my heart was pounding, pounding way too fast. Doki doki, in the wrong reason. Anna gave me a good hard look. Triple dot. So, that's how it is. I'll see you later, Jack. And she went away. I let out a long breath I had noticed I was holding. I felt awful. And worse, I thought had Anna had been right. Had definitely been something familiar about her. But I didn't want to find out more. Next time she comes in, I'll treat her the same way. I'll talk myself. Guessing correctly, there'll be a next time. Was guessing wrongly that I it be at the store. I'll do it again and again until she gives up. I don't know what she wants, but I won't give an inch, an inch. The old lady cried out. She found a quarter. August 11. It's weird, isn't it? How I just write two days dead like that and then go right to telling you about something that happened months ago. I should write down when that stuff, stuff happened. But it was so long ago. I don't think I can remember the, the exact deaths. <coughs> Oh, I guess I'm gonna get a drink a, a little bit. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's continue. Ah, uh, who cares? This is only for me, anyway. It can be jumbled mess. Sometimes I feel like I should write more about what's happening now. But... Nothing is happening. Oh fuck it. When I, when I told Grace about the girl who called herself Anna, and who called me Jack even though we didn't wear name tags, she took it like it was a cute, uh, it was good news. Oh, their apartment. That's amazing, Zach. Sorry, Jack. She must have recognized you from childhood. She said 15 years, didn't she? That strike from the time you can't remember. That is exactly why Grace? I don't know. She might be some sort of scam artist. Just come up with that idea of Anna being a scam artist. It seems a good enough excuse not to go near her again. 
I mean, yeah. Yeah. Right. Come on, Jack. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. I don't need her, Grace. Not you. Jack, I'm not telling you to sleep with her. <laughs> Damn. That means Grace had and Jack uh, were already, you know. Don't be so rude to her next time, okay? I wasn't being rude. You so were. Okay, so what if I was? It's not fair to her. She seems, she seems like a nice girl. And don't you think it, it'd be good for you too? To be friends with her? No. Not really. She could tell you about your past. Then maybe some things would start making sense. You could put whatever happened behind you. But nothing happened. Something must have happened, Jack. People don't... Chris fell silent. Instead of continuing, she started running her fork, fork, I mean, through the pass on her plate. We were having dinner. People don't what? Well, people don't do that at night, unless something happened to them. I keep telling you. It must be some weird kind of insomnia. Nothing more. But what did you do at night? Sleeping pills don't work on it. Something will, eventually. I don't know. I ne I actually never try sleeping pills, but it that it sounds really unhealthy. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I never actually tr uh, use one. I just laying down until I fall asleep. But why not try this? The memories you have, it's it's like they won out. I think they should go out too. Then you won't be scared of whatever happened anymore. And how does that work, exactly? You'll be able to face it properly. What if Jack tried and he failed? So he, his mind decided to erase everything. It's helped me a, a lot, you know? Thinking about what happened to me. Seeing it's not so bad as I thought it was. So I stubbornly refused to answer and went out eating like there hadn't been a conversation at all. What Grace had referred to was something I'd only re recently found out. Apparently I shouted and kicked at night a lot. Sometimes in a, a loud scream, damn. Must be something so traumatized. What did Anna do, man? Maybe I still do all that. Who knows? Maybe the staff and patients here are too polite to point it out. No. I don't scream at night anymore. I'm very sure I don't. Maybe he uh, doesn't scream anymore because he finally remember everything. No, that's not the not to say I can sleep all that well. Funny how, at one point, 
something like that was the biggest problem in my life. It was so long ago. Or at least it feels like so long ago. So much has happened since then. Anyway, the morning after, I would wake up sweaty and tired, but it wasn't until Chris told me about the, sc- the screaming that I found out why. They said it happened about once a week. It really freaked her out. The first few times it happened, but then she got used to it. That's not good. Or as used as you can get. It makes me feel like an asshole, realizing how nonchalant it was about it. I was about it, I mean. Dreaming every few nights in my sleep was felt a small price to pay so I wouldn't have to bother with the past. But it didn't matter. In the end, I decided to face the past or not. Either way, it was coming. The second time Anna and I met adults, we were neighbors. Second time, I was coming back home from a morning shift at the store. I went into our building, up to the second floor, down the hall to mine and grace door, Grace's door, and I froze. There was someone standing in front of the door. Damn! Even Anna had uh, renting the room next to us. Maybe she already like uh, put some hidden cameras and mic in there. That someone was her. Anna. Jack. Oh, oh goodness. What are you doing here? Oh, sh- damn, why why she pretend to not doing anything? Like, to not purposely, uh, you know, like, pretend she didn't know? But don't tell me you... She pointed at the door, so as if to ask if I live there. Yes, that's my apartment. As you damn well know. The hallway air felt warm and still. Soup like. Ew. <laughs> what are you doing here? I was going to say hello to my new neighbor. Oh, sh- God damn it, Anna. That's. That's. Oh, that's really rude. I cannot just stalk people and. Uh, and renting a room next to other guy pretending as if it's just a coincidence so hello wait huh and here she put something into my hands it was a plate wrapped in plastic wrap there was something brown on the plate brownies I'm sure you like them, Jack. Okay, I don't know, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard somewhere that uh, it's easier to like to put some drugs or some like poison inside the brownies. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just uh, thinking something nonsense, but I'm sure I heard it somewhere, maybe in my dream. But we are not neighbors. I spat the words out. Yes, we are. I'm right over there. Anna showed me the door to the right of mine. Ah. That place had been empty for weeks. I'm pretty sure 
the, the guy who lived there before was a uh, well, heroin a dick huh maybe I'm kill him or something he didn't he didn't seem so bad now what an amazing coincidence though stop pretending Anna the thing we end up living so close by again it's not a coincidence is it pardon uh, nani <laughs> i'm sorry come on really what are you trying to do it's obvious you planned this there's no way something like this could happen by accident Anna laughed. It was a sound like a fox scraping a plate. Oh man, the, the way you described that, it's... ah. Oh. My teeth feel weird now. Well? You can believe it's a coincidence. Or you can believe it's not. Either way, We'll be seeing it's other pretty often. Enjoy the brownies. Don't eat the brownies. Don't eat it. Oh wait, wait, wait. I remember. Did, did you guys remember when the doctor said that uh, there is a substance in my blood? Maybe it's from the brownies. Thanks. I'm not a big fan of sweet stuff, but I'm sure Grace will love them. Don't give that. Don't need it. Oh no, see, he mentioned her. Grace? Who is Grace? My girlfriend. I pointed at our door with my thumb. We live together. My idea was that in case she was acting like that, di like this because she was interested in me, I can gently take tell her I was taken. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's like Yanderev eyes. Grace. Yes. She must be a nice girl. Best I ever known. Ouch. She's lucky to have you. It's the other way around. Well, it's been nice chatting. I'll say hi to Grace for you. For you. I should go in and say hello myself. No need. And she's not here right now. But bye. I pretend to unlock the door. It was already unlocked because Grace was home. I slip in and shut the door in Anna's face. Damn, that's rude. In the apartment, I found I could breathe freely again. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really into the mood right now. So in the, I really hook up in the story. Talk to this girl. Be friends with her. Not a chance. She creeped the hell out of me. Yeah, she's, uh, Anna's kinda creepy, that's really unfortunate. Writing all this down, you can see why Grace thought it was overreacting. The plain facts of it don't seem that bad at all. A friend I, I hadn't seen in years noticed me at my workplace, talked with me a bit, and then helped to move in right next to me. But I knew right from the start that there was something off about her. That's not something to ignore. 
paranoid? Yeah, but in that case, I was right to be paranoid. It's because I let my guard down that all did that shit happen. Still no word from the doctor about when I'll be able to get out of here. In fact, I haven't seen him in days. I hope he's just busy. He's dead, man. Anna killed him. What if something happened to him? It's the paranoia talking again. Not... No, that's not paranoia. That's plain stupid. Anna can make a doctor disappear and get away with it. But I've got to say, if this doctor did disappear, it wouldn't be much of a loss to the hospital, I think. <laughs> I have to ask him to give me some neck exercise if I can do. And I hurts from running my I had to the side all the time to look at the sky. Well, at least the weather's bad now. I'm not looking there as much. It's weird how a little neck pain is causing me trouble, with how broken and battered the rest of me is, especially your heart. No, I probably shouldn't mention my neck to him. They mic up my dosage, and what I do then, with my brain turn to mush? Maybe then I'd be happy. No man, Th that's just illusion. In any case, I have things to do, and I need a clear mind to do them. I hope that what I'm writing makes sense. I hope I haven't gone down the rabbit hole already, and all I'm doing is crawling line after line of meaningless chicken scratch. Oh, it will be really awesome if uh, slowly he becomes more insane, and you can tell by the way he's writing. I've read that w that a short novel before about a man investigating a. Uh, a book about ancient evil religion as only well, he turns insane and you can tell by the the way he is writing the document because uh the way the novel uh wrote down is as if it was a letter that's the perspective i'm sorry being tangent but i think it's the good way to to write a story and I hope they imp implement that in this as well. I really cannot wait, man. I wish I can just play until the end, but uh, talking for hours, it's actually kind of exhausting. <laughs> but that'd be pretty funny, I guess, in a pretty unfunny way. August 12th. Anna's brony were testy. Oh, you ate it. You ate it, huh? I didn't have any. But Grace said so. Oh, only Grace. I wanted to throw the brownies into the trash. But Grace caught the wind of them too quickly. It's like a bloodhound when it comes to sweet stuff. Chocolate, especially. Oh damn, maybe Anna knew about Grace and she planted the chocolate with poison, I don't know. And then, of course, I had to explain where I got them. Huh? Weird. Okashine. <laughs> I know, right? There's no way it's a coincidence. Yeah, it must be a sign. Oh. This is so positive. I like it. A sign of what? That she's stalking me? You know, 
It is weird that she was stalking me, since she knew where I live, but that she didn't, but that she didn't know about Chris. I mean, she couldn't have known with how surprised she was. I don't think she was acting. Was it just a coincidence, coincidence then? No, absolutely not. That I refused to accept. I think I'll go say hi. No, Chris, no. I could make something for her too. Do you have any butter left? I want to bake her cookies. Oh my god, Grace, you're so kind. Who are you? I swear if uh, at the end Grace actually the evil, the evil person, the main villain of the story, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna lose myself. Yeah. And then you'll eat most of your own. Hey! <laughs> oh cute. I don't see the point of Going to visit her, though, we'll see more than enough of her anyway. We live so close by. We are neighbors. I want us to get started on the right foot. And maybe she and I could be friends. Oh no. I think that'd be nice. I wrap my arms around her. Of course. You deserve that. But please, find a friend that's not her. Why? Those they? Once again, I couldn't properly explain why. I couldn't put it down as anything more than a hunch, a gut feeling I get whenever I was near her. If at least Got to see her for myself to see if she's really such a horrible person. Trust me, you better off without it. The next day, in the afternoon, I was lying down on our sofa. I was nursing a headache that been with me since morning. Damn, the memories start to. It's going to erupt, uh, to burst out. Chris told me she'll, she'll be right back. She went out of the apartment with something in her hands and then spot of freshly baked cookies puffed out of the kitchen. Oh no, please don't be the last time Chris, uh, you see Chris. It still took me about two minutes to piece the puzzle together. Ah oh, shit, I whispered. What's getting red? I was imme immediately up. Not good. Not good. Panic struck me harder than I would expect. It was like with Chris seeing Anna all by herself, some vulnerable part of me was exposed. I wanted to bring Grace back and lock the door and keep her safe. I never, ever let her out of my sight. But I also didn't want to go in there. I just stood there, had it my head in my hands, wondering what the hell to do. Oh my god, I got goosebumps. All at once, I was telling myself to go there. You coward, but also to stay here, you idiot. And somewhere far away, a tiny little voice, very tiny, very little, was telling me I was overreacting. Oh! Oh no, no! Then there's came the sound of grass glass break. It had come from where else? Anna's apartment. Oh no! I'm trembling in fear. I went to the wall that separates our apartments. 
though there was no sound at all. Nothing to explain the crash. Finally, I finally overcome my paradise. I dash out from our apartment to hers. Come on, man, let's go! When I got there, I saw broken glass and blood and glass kneeling down. Anna stood above her. Oh no. Oh, I'm afraid to click more. Oh, god damn it. And they are both smiling. They stopped when they noticed me there, out of breath and confused. Jack? Hi Jack, did you decide to join us? No, I... What the hell is going on? This? Anna waved her hand at the floor, at all the bits of glass, white ceramic actually. There are also scattered cookies and drops the blood, drops of blood. Yes, that. Just looking at the blood made me feel sick, like I was going to throw up, but I couldn't peel my eyes away from it. Oh, did you see blood before? I mean, the blood that traumatized you? I always had been like that around blood. I never had the stomach up for it. Chris was picking up the broken pieces of ceramic. There was a little accident. An accident? Yes. What else? Chris, what happened? It's my fault, really. The cookies was were harder than I thought, so I dropped the whole plate, and it was Anna's plate too. Be careful, Grace. You you may cut yourself. She cut herself already. Look, Mite. <laughs> huh? She only now seems to notice the blood around her. But I... Chris check her hands, turn them around a few times to see from every angle. But for no cuts there. Anna's blood? It's not me. You act so natural. It's my blood. What? I'm sorry, this is what happened when I don't trust someone. I have a feeling that Anna actually set that up, you know, like when the plate broke, she uh, purposely cut herself to make Grace guilty. Anna was, I just noticed, holding her hand, uh, her left hand tightly with her right. There was a little blood still trickling from between her knuckles. Oh no! Grace's hand hovered around Anna's. She looked willingly to help, but afraid she do something wrong. How did this happen? Even happen? I tried to pick up some of the pieces. They are pretty sharp, aren't they? I react so normal about sharp object. I don't like it. Hang on, Anna. I'll. I'm fine. I don't need you to do anything. The way Anna said that was forceful, almost harsh. Respect way. Ah. Oh. 
I still have a feeling that Anna purposely do that to uh, make uh, Grace even feel guilty More guilty I... I can still help She remember I was there Jack, go get some girls Gauze? Gauze? Girls? I don't know that word, I'm sorry We have Gauze? Oh, useless. Oh, no. There's a crack. Frustrated. More frustrated than I haven't seen her before. Grace ran off to get the gauze herself. She left me there. In the belly of the beast. I tried being polite. Shame about the cookies. A real shame. I didn't get to eat a single one. Well, actually. She picked one up with her the three fingers of her left hand. Wait. Oh I thought the, the sprite uh she is bleeding. Oh that's important that. They could just add the bleeding hands, you know, as in the sprite to make it more immersive. She pick up, she pick one up with the free fingers on her left hand. Some, some of her blood got on the cookie. Before I could say anything, she added in one bite. Yeah, she's she's sociopath. Jesus Not bad at all They are still warm Do you want one? Oh, God damn it Anna I'll pass God you make me sick That's not very nice thing to say Jack If I'm if anyone else say it, will you do if anyone said it, huh? God damn it, you're gonna kill someone if they said that. But I'll forgive you. She licked her lips. I should have left, but I was like a frog being stared down by a snake. I wonder what, what's taking Grace so long. He must be flustered. Poor girl. So much worry about any little cut. It's not serious. It's not. How do you know? I don't like it. I've seen a lot of cuts. I make them by myself. <laughs> I can't imagine. Oh, did she, did she cut herself? Like Yuri in the DLC? Anna laugh. Oh yeah. But I still don't trust her. It's just her excuse. I'm a nurse. That I couldn't imagine. It's still hard to believe, though I see proof of it every day. There's a lot of blood. You don't believe me? Look. She showed me her hand. The cut ran from the base of her thumb towards the middle of her hand. The wound was thin, but long and ragged. The skin around the wound was pale and moist, showing how fresh the cut was. 
gue save puke Oh Does it look bad? You look bad Don't worry It won't even scar Stop that You really a uh... I don't re- I don't remember what I was going to say It was nice in the- in any case What stopped me was just coming back Sorry S- Sorry There wasn't any gauze I don't know that word I- s- I probably gonna look that up I'm sorry I'm- I- it, This is the first time reading that word So I don't know what the object she is looking for Here He broke a roll of pink toilet paper I hope this is good enough. Thank you, Chris. But I don't need it. You don't? No. See? The blood stop. Anna flashed me smile. The corners of her mouth were still red. God damn it. You suck the blood from your finger when I'm not looking. August 13. Today, today. Didn't see Anna watch. But enough of that. After what happened, her unlevel of yesterday. I was sure Grace and I were on the same page. But no. In the end, I was the one who cleaned up the blood mess on the floor. I threw away the cookies before Anna could get her hands on any more. Back in our apartment, Chris let out a long sigh. What a mess, am I right? Yeah, and it was all my fault. I mean Anna. You did just meet her, right? Yes. And? Well, I can see why you've been avoiding her. Really? If that's what you mean. Thank you. She's... This beautiful. Oh no. I, I thought she would be some shy little girl or a crazy cat lady or something. But she's like a model. What? No. Don't try to deny it, Jack. It's why you don't want to go near her, isn't it? You don't want to be tempted. Shook my head. I really didn't see her that way. Now, with a little more perspective, I can say it's true. What a waste of good looks. Yeah. Uh, same. <laughs> Is m- much more beautiful than me. No, you're wrong, Grace. Hey, don't say that. She's not. She is. Oh no, this is gonna become a crack in her their re- relationship after a year. God damn it, Anna. Grace dropped her gaze to stare at her hands, and she wasn't mad that I ruined her plate. She wasn't scared of the blood either. It's just so perfect. I took her hands, mine. They were cold. Grace? Jack? 
you're beautiful and kind more beautiful and kind than any other girls in the world I'm lucky as hell to have you my cheeks burn you must have looked like a tomato I wasn't used to saying stuff like this I mean it so don't say stuff like that okay oh Chris blink like she just woke up oh um I've been saying a lot of dumb stuff I guess I'm sorry Oh, damn it. Thank you. I'm a real hassle, huh? No, don't say that. And don't say you're sorry either. You've done nothing to feel sorry for. She apologized way too often. I know that feeling. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I say sorry too much. August 15. Didn't write anything yesterday. Pain in my leg made it so I couldn't focus. I've been hurting like a bitch these past few days. Is your leg like rotten inside it? I gave it and asked the doctor about it. Oh hi. You're not dead yet. It's fine, by the way. It didn't disappear or anything. Must must have taken a few days off. Since I asked him about the pain, I asked if he could do anything about it. Apparently, the pain is a good sign. I think that's what he said. So I guess my leg is healing all right. Or it's rotten to the core. But it still hurts. When the doctors went away, I complained out loud that it hurts. One of the other patients must have thought that I was talking to him. The patients here now are not the same guys I was mentioned before. Maybe one is, but that's all. The others went away to another part of the hospital or home or maybe to the, to the morgue. Don't say that. I don't know. I wasn't keeping track. So I said something about how my leg hurt and a guy on the bed next to mine, a kid actually, can be more than 18 or, or 19, starts talking to me. I think he's, he was saying how he's in a lot of pain too. Couldn't understand most of it though. His jaw, his jaw's been wired shut. Anything he tries to say turns into moans and a lot of troll. God damn, what happened to you boy? Then a nurse came in, not Anna, and told him he shouldn't speak if he wants his mouth to get better. So he shut up. Not much else has happened. But my leg really is bothering me. It's a deep pain. Doesn't feel like it's healing. It was wrong. In a way that makes my teeth hurt too. God damn it, it's rotten, huh? Doctor, what did you do? Is my uh, it's my body rejecting my my uh my leg? I'll stop with the leg now. I have to get my mind off it. It hurts so much. I'll check where I left of the day before yesterday, and go from there.
You're not coming with us? Again? No, I don't feel like it. But Anna is so grateful to hang out with. Yesterday, we went window shopping. Then, we went to a cafe. And then, we had ice cream in the park. Sounds fun. It was. And it was beautiful. <laughs> I'm sorry. A, a little Infinity War joke there. <laughs> Anna is a really interesting person. You should give her a chance. I want us all to be friends. So please come along. No. I'll pass. Sorry. A moment later, Anna came in without knocking. God damn it, Anna. She never knock anymore. Ready, Grace? Yes, in a minute. Grace, give a sigh. Are you sure you don't want to go? Yes, I'm sure. Go have fun without me. Okay, then some other time. We kiss. Oh, Anna didn't like that. Have fun. We will. Yane. <laughs> Grace and Anna become friends. Good friends. Very soon after they first met. I was against it, but I found it hard to complain, seeing Grace so happy. They spend quite a lot of time together. Whatever I said anything about this, Grace will tease me. Oh, maybe later Anna will tell about uh, about Jack's past, or maybe lie about it to make uh, to destroy our relationship. Maybe I don't know. We will find out. She said I was jeal jealous, but you would also invite me to come with. I always decline. I eventually got used to it, and things were quiet for a while. For a while. Once at the store, I was applying discounts during work hours. It should have been done before we open up, but someone had been slacking off. I won't point fingers. It was done, the old guy. So I was the one stuck up, wondering what kind of dog food the 20% should go on. Some, something like that. The list they gave us were always terrible. So full of correction, you could very barely read them. No, god damn it. As I was about to choose at random where to apply the discount stickers, someone put a hand on my shoulder. Oh, Anna. There was a tightness in my chest, but it passed within seconds. As I said, I'd gotten used to it. She didn't scare me anymore. Hi. How are you, Jack? I'm alright, thanks. Hey, random question. Do you like big dogs or small dogs? 
I like you. <laughs> hmm? Big dogs, I guess. I prefer cats, thank you. I see. I bend down and place the sticker, reducing the price of the dog food that had one of those winner dogs on the pack packaging. There is in the break room, by the way. I know, I was just there, but I wanted to see you. Yeah. Why? I haven't seen you at all for the past week, you know? Didn't you notice? I guess? I was called into work a lot, and you must have been busy here too. Yep, busy busy. Chop chop. We should meet more often. After all these years apart, you must have a lot of stories to tell, huh? Yeah, maybe. Triple dot. Jack, you mentioned dog, right? Right. Was that because of body? Oh, I have, I, I had dog. Who's buddy? Sorry, did, did you hear that? My hmm? <laughs> I don't know. I cannot hear that now. So you really don't remember anything? Nope. I don't remember this buddy. I, and I don't remember knowing you either. Of course, now I do know about Buddy. I don't remember his breed or how old he was, or anything other than his name, really. But I do know him. I, but I do know of him. A certain picture book told me. That's really too bad. But he'll all come back to you. I'm sure. Who knows? Buddy was really sweet dog. You like him a lot. I struck. And he loved you. But then again, that dog loved everyone. He was so trusting. Too trusting? I'm sure he was. Are you really fine with not knowing about so much of your life? Yeah. Yeah, I am. I'm used to it by now. I think it would feel weird if I could remember actually. I suppose it's easier. In a way. What do you mean? There are some things best forgotten. After all. And there. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> of course they are. And I wish some of those things would have had the decency to stay forgotten. Why mention it now, though? Oh, no reason. I was just a little curious. Uh-huh. I didn't believe her. I sensed that there was something in particular she wanted me to remember. I do know what that is now. But I still don't know why she wants me to remember what she did. What did you do to Buddy? God damn it if you kill him. 
it's some sick form of love or does she want to finish the job is it both i don't know i really don't her mind is much mystery of to me now as it ever was Oh, damn. God damn it. Uh, the spooky part is not come yet, but I think I've played long enough, so I'm gonna end uh, this video right now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, I really love the relationship of them. It's really fun. And I, I hope you enjoy it as well. If you do, uh, please consider to subscribe and like this video. Maybe some comments of your opinion. I would love to hear them. And yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know what to say. I just love the, uh, the chemistry between Jack and Grace. That's all. I see you guys later and have a lucky day.